Today we are going to have a look at Fortnite Monster Live Event Trailer. Also how to get this glider for free. If you want a shout out like these guys, use code SMJAM and comment down below, I use your code. Alright, now let me quickly show you guys how to do this glitch, okay? To get this free glider, basically. So in order to do this glitch, you're going to need two items, okay? So you're going to need this web shooter right over here. And then you're going to need a tornado as well, okay? So basically, we're going to go ahead and use the web shooter. This will basically allow us to have this glider. Oh my god, bro, is that a shark? <laughs> bro, look at this. The shark is actually flying with the tornado. Oh my god, bro, look at this shark. What is wrong with this shark, bro? This shark is glitched. Yo, the shark is flying. Okay, now let's do this glitch. Okay, so basically, you're going to need to attach the web shooter to any of these debris, as you can see right there. Attach to one of them, and you want to hold it for like 5 to 10 seconds. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pick a debris right over there. So we're going to pick this rock right here, for example, and then hold it for 5 seconds. And if you do that right, you can see right here, you'll basically get this this a glider this really weird glider epic should definitely add this glider to fortnite and as you can see right there if you use the glider you will still get this really weird animation okay now finally i want to show you guys this glitch that basically allows you to face through any walls that's right it could be your enemy's walls it could be like just a building wall just like this now to do this glitch you're gonna need a certain item okay you're gonna need this item right here armored walls okay okay so what you want to do is basically go Go ahead and build it just like this and then you want to build a wall just like this and then you want to edit exactly like how i'm editing right now okay so you want to edit the top just like this and then you want to edit a door right over here to your right basically okay so you want to basically climb on top of this door just like this now this is actually a little bit tricky part so what you want to do is basically have yourself in between the door and this wall and you can do that by basically opening the door and jumping in between at the same time, okay? All right, so let me quickly demonstrate to you guys how to do that. So basically what you want to do is edge forward just a little bit as far as you can possibly go at the same time seeing that E button, the open button, and then you want to press it and then jump at the same time, okay? So just like uh, this, okay? So as you can see right there, it did not work right there. You just want to get your timing right. You might need a little bit of practice to do this, but if you actually get the timing right, you, this can be very useful to actually like phase through people's wall and there you go boys that's how you do it as you can see right there i'm actually trapped between the door and the wall i cannot move so maybe if i like zoom in a little bit as you can see right there you can see i'm actually in between the wall and the door i know my body is like kind of glitched inside of the door as well now what you want to do is place the trap on the wall and then you want to jump in at the same time okay so i'm going to place the trap and jump in just like this okay so as you can see right there the trap is actually color orange and the reason why why we didn't phase through is because there's like a stair inside as you can see right there now what you can do is just go ahead and break the stairs and you can actually jump inside just like this and if you do that correctly as you can see right there i can actually phase through the wall all right now let's talk about fortnite live event and also star wars update as well that's coming up at number one we have star wars update now may 4th is obviously the star wars day if you guys didn't know and we all know that fortnite has this thing with star wars like a a deal when every time there's anything to do with Star Wars like a show or something like that Fortnite does a collaboration so now people are predicting that we are going to get a huge Star Wars event or like a big update they're saying that the entire Fortnite season is going to be Star Wars themed just like the Marvel themed of season 4 so now here is a concept that someone actually made a map so if we get a Star Wars live event and get a massive Star Wars season this is how the map could look like so the guy says the force has finally found the Fortnite map and we've got POIs like Mustafa, Moon of Endor. Now I'm not a huge Star Wars fan but I'm guessing these are all like Star Wars location or maybe planets. You should also expect different items and vehicles are coming to Fortnite from Star Wars as well. For example you can see right here in the image the lightsaber is obviously going to make a return as well and I'm guessing they're going to bring in more like different lightsabers as well well, maybe like a mythic lightsabers also you can see right here we've got vehicles that are coming to fortnite as well now star wars has
has a lot of different kind of vehicles. We got like different tanks and stuff on the ground and also and also a lot of like flying vehicles as well as you can see right here. A lot of like spacecrafts. Now they can actually come to Fortnite as well, which I think would be like very cool to have like Star Wars vehicles. And also you should expect a bunch of Star Wars skins as well. Now we have already had like bunch of skins so far like the Boba Fett skins bunch of other Star Wars skin as well recently we got this skin as well and also you can expect a lot of like villain skin that we haven't really had that many like villain skins in Fortnite like these guys right here alright up next we've got the monster live event now that the imagine order has now a base that they actually can call home which is the COVID Canyon and we all know that they all showed up on this map on this drill now they're actually building a giant drill yes they're actually drilling for some reason reason we don't exactly know what they are looking for but everyone is uh, speculating they're either drilling for the zero point because we all know that the zero point is in the middle of the Fortnite map or should i say in between the chapter 2 map and chapter 3 map but people are saying that they're actually drilling for catas the monster yes they're actually for some reason are thinking about either like uh, cloning the monster or somehow like bringing him back to life because obviously the seven are actually really powerful and the imagine order hates the seven and now that the imagine order are like it's the seven sort of like domain because chapter three is obviously like owned by the seven they rule it they need like this huge weapon to actually defeat the sevens that's why they're actually bringing the monster back to life to like attack the seven so this drill is actually like building up to this live event that we're gonna have very soon at the end of this season where the monster is going to come back to life the imagine order are going to set the monster loose at the seven and also i think the imagine order are going to like control the monster as well somehow now we don't exactly know what the seven have in plan to fight the monster but people are speculating they're actually going to create a robot and some are even saying that the seven statue the giant statue near the sanctuary is in fact a giant robot and not just a statue now even though this is just a speculation expect a live event maybe at the end of this season where the monster comes back to life and the foundation statue comes to life as well from the seven and they're just going to have this huge battle just like how we did in season nine of chapter one the monster versus mech event and after the live event this is going to lead us to season two of chapter three which is going to be titled the war which is basically the war between the imagine order and the seven this is going to be a very very similar season to season two of chapter two where we had ghost versus shadow that means we're gonna have a bunch of other imagine orders outposts around the fortnite map we're gonna have different bosses new vaults maybe new bosses as well new mythic weapons i mean you should expect a really good season next season basing on the fact that how good season two of chapter two was also at some point we're also going to get a tank as well next season 